Oakland County Community College recently held an active shooter training on their Auburn Hills campus. The goal was to help prepare incoming cadets for a crisis like a mass shooting. But it was also an opportunity to educate nursing students on how to respond to those situations. Ray Strickland followed a nursing student who acted as a shooting victim during the training and explains why she believes that it can help her become a better nurse. He has that story from the campus, and we want to warn you, even though it is just a training, some of you may find those images disturbing. Within my community, we have a lot of traumas, a lot of casualties happen, um, specifically with gun violence. Helping her community is part of the reason why Detroit Mercy student Elise Briggs wanted to become a nurse. And on this day, she is about to walk into a situation unlike anything she's seen before. What school number are you? Um, I'm not sure. I was so sorry. School is in session, but what she's learning is not in a classroom or in a textbook. The lesson is a real life scenario. So this is the active shooter training for incoming EMS and police officers. So this is going to be considered a grazing wound. Briggs and her classmates are acting as shooting victims during a mass shooter training on the campus of Oakland County Community College. To blend. Let's go, whoever's left, come with me. <laughs> the training is as real as it gets with Briggs getting into position where she and another student will hide in a classroom as if an active shooter Shooter is on the loose. The just... So right now the simulation is getting ready to start and we're just holding our spots and we're just going to wait for everything to begin. They said it should be like screams and gunshots um, and everything like that. And then the EMS eventually at some point should come in here and look for us and find us um, and then assess us and get us out of this situation. Kim's police. Anybody injured, if you can walk, leave the building. Tell them. Gotcha. If you can walk, just get to the lobby. We, we... We'll make entry. Go. Go. Police. Police. Officers and EMS from county agencies, as well as cadets from the community college, all took part in the training. It was to help them be better prepared for a critical incident like a mass casualty event. From searching for the shooter to rescuing the victims, the training allowed for Briggs to get a first-hand experience of what it's like to be on the other side of treatment. As I said, the training as real as it gets with the students playing dead or paralyzed as a result of the mock shooting. Briggs even rode in the ambulance for the first time in a make-believe scenario where she was taken to the hospital. This is a little I've never been in the back of an ambulance before, so that's interesting. The training allowed for Briggs and her classmates to see what it's like to be a victim. She believes it's a lesson that could help her become a better nurse. This training just allowed me to be able to switch over to the space of a patient just to know maybe what they went through. Um, they just went through this terrible thing, right? So now they're in a new space, a new person. They're probably anxious. They're scared. They're sad. So being able to do this helps me to empathize with them and just to know like, okay, this is probably what they're feeling right now. So let me be able to work from that end. Reporting in Oakland County, Ray Strickland, CBS News, Detroit.